The attorney that spoke with me today says it is not the fact that the car was booted, but how long it took to get it removed. He says this is a problem he's noticed for a long time, and he says it needs to be addressed right now. You walk outside, and there it is, a dreaded boot on your car. Two minutes late, you got a boot. We've done story. You're ripped off. After story about this, now when attorney alleges the company, Nashville Booting, is quick to boot you, but slow to take it off. They've placed their boot, and they have your money the moment they place it. So they can make you wait as long as, as, as they want, unless there are remedies like this that hold them accountable. A lawsuit filed this week alleges Nashville Booting engages in unlawful booting practices by violating a Nashville ordinance. The Nashville ordinance says, in very clear uh, terms, within one hour of being contacted to remove a boot, you have to remove the, the boot. Mark Hammervold says the company didn't do that for his client. Here's the timeline. The suit says on October 26th last year, Nashville Booting booted the driver's car at 6.30 a.m. The company put a sticker on his car, telling the driver to call them. The suit says the driver dialed their number at 8.51 a.m. and got a recording, asking him to call a different number. He called at 8.52 a.m., then again seven minutes later. According to the lawsuit, the operator told the driver he would have to wait because Nashville Booting had approximately 100 other boots to remove. But the driver claims Nashville Booting did not remove the boot within an hour of calling, as required by Nashville ordinance. The boot wasn't removed until 5.39 p.m., eight hours after the driver contacted their office. Nashville Booting has been on a radar for quite a few years. Actually, just in the last 36 months, we've had 32 complaints. Robin Householder with the Better Business Bureau says in some cases, Nashville Booting did resolve the problem, but the complaints and allegations are so vast, the BBB gave the company an F rating on their website. Many times the complaints note that these cars, in fact, are legally parked. They have the appropriate identification stickers on them, but they're booted anyway, and then um, it's taking much longer than an hour, sometimes alleging as many as five hours before the company responds to remove the boot. News 4 Nashville has been trying to get a hold of Nashville booting for the past two days to get their response on the class action lawsuit. We're waiting to hear back. The attorney Hammervold tells me he believes thousands of people have had this similar problem. He hopes that this lawsuit creates systemic change in the company from the top down. I'm Call for Action Problem Solver, Carice Jackman, News for Nashville.